I grew professionally and I grew socially as, as well too at Brown. So my best friends to this, to this day, the people I still stay in touch with two or three times a week are my Brown classmates, including my roommate from sophomore year, um, who I talk to every other day. What I'm most proud of is the work, a, a new role that I've taken on in my health um, system is I am the medical director of diversity, inclusion, and health equity for our, our health system. And um, the reason why I'm proud of that is as I continue to do clinical gynecologic oncology, um, this work in diversity, inclusion, and health equity allows me to, to certainly bring um, passion, some um, scholarly work that I've done here, but a lot of experiential work, especially that was um, founded at Brown for me. The work and the opportunities that have been afforded to me, especially with some leadership levels um, on the corporation, I've been able to translate that back to the community. And I think it worked both ways. Some work I was doing in the community, I hope I bring those best practices uh, to Brown into a, a corporate experience. But clearly the opportunities that I've been given in my, my role um, as a trustee and now a fellow um, and in some leadership positions that I have, especially in the space of um, diversity, equity, and inclusion to bring that back to the local Atlanta level, to bring that back to my health system. Some of those best practices are things that we're doing at Brown right now. For me, it was important to, to be a representative from someone from the Southeast, the state of Georgia, from the medical school, but also as a black male. Um, and, it, and, it, and, and it's just exciting to be a part of an organization that certainly acknowledges the, the richness of the diversity that Jeff Hines brings to it um, from all those aspects, a medical school graduate, someone who lives in Atlanta, Georgia in the Southeast, but as a black male as well too.